volcanoes, dark themed skins, intergalactic lore. Let's talk about Fortnite Season 6. <laughs> Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. I know it's been a while since we looked at Fortnite together, so let's put that right. I've been sifting through the countless theory videos all about Season 6, and I've checked all the leaked files for the next big update, allowing me to put together 8 things you should know about Season 6 of Fortnite Battle Royale. Some of these are leaks which are pretty reliable, but nothing certain, and some of these are insane theories that are surprisingly believable. I'll timestamp each major leak and theory in the comments below so you can jump around and point your friends to the theories that you agree with. By the way, if you'd like more Fortnite content on the channel, do me a favour and write grenade in the comments, I'd appreciate it. Let's do this. Let's go through what we know 100% already by using the weekly loading screens to build a story. After the events of Season 5, the Rift character was pulled back from our reality along with the Derberger. As the weeks continued, the bright bomber and her friends showed him around the island as his costume upgraded. Suddenly, the rift in the sky created a cube in the desert area of the map. Over time, this bad boy rolled around the map, changing the atmosphere in places. By week 7, the enforcers appeared, which, going by the image, scared the bejesus out of our gang. The following week, Tomato Town was gone, replaced with Tomato Temple. And then in week 9, the cube had finally caught up with the group, who couldn't help but touch it. Rex in particular found out the hard way. Now the week 10 loading screen has been revealed, it opens up such possibilities for Fortnite. Here we see the bright bomber touching the cube, but look at her reflection. There's a negative version of her looking back. Her eyes appear to be covered in the rift lightning, but the most interesting thing here is her shirt. The happy-go-lucky llama is replaced with a dragon. Let's quickly copyright a name for her. Bright Bomber could become the Dark Destroyer. <laughs> nah, that sounds like an adult movie star. Moving on. And now we can start to speculate. The widely accepted theory is based around the movement of the cube. I'm sure you've noticed the cube is going for a walk around the map. Heck, I'm even sure you've deliberately crushed yourself with the cube or murdered a few other players with its force. It's damn satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> Leakers have been able to plan out the path of the cube, and to this day, they have been spot on. The cube's end point is almost certain to be Loot Lake. In terms of lore and backstory, the cube looks to feed from water and has regularly crossed the stream about three times before hitting the lake. And now, here's where the fun begins. <laughs> In the data files, assets have been discovered that show the introduction of lava to the map and it's in the same shape as Loot Lake, leading many to believe the lake of water will become a lake of lava and a volcano will leap from that lava to signify the start of Season 6. Here's where it gets a little bit more realistic. Did you ever fly over Loot Lake in Week 1 of Season 5? Did you notice there's something under the water? Could this be that volcano? I remember playing that week and I was certain it would be a pyramid like those found in Egypt. Keep that in mind because I'm going to come back to it later. Using the battle pass we can grab a few clues and early foreshadowing and even some aspects of lore. The wrestler skin was teased in the battle pass before its release and so was the shark with the laser on its head and even the sushi themed characters too. There's an image of Pizza Pete who gets his own piece of lore in a moment but right now I want to look at the first spray paint called Crazy Castle. A castle in Fortnite is already a thing in Save the World. Back in the Halloween event last year, we looked for Dracula in a dark themed Transylvanian area. It was so damn good. On top of that, we already have three medieval skins, including the Sacred Dark Knight. And at present, they don't have anywhere to live. I personally thought the cube would create a castle at Loot Lake, complete with a moat, which would be crossable via a bridge or maybe a grappling hook. And guess what? The grappling hook was added a few weeks after I thought that. What do you think? Am I onto something? Or would you prefer a lava lake? How about a castle on a lava lake? Chisel, that sounds good. <laughs> Let's go back to the skin unlocked over season 5, the Enforcer. What did you think to it? I have to admit, I was massively let down, although I do like the riot shield. And that riot shield made me think that maybe the Enforcers were intergalactic time cops who were here to put the rifts and portals back in check. What do you think? I looked into this theory and found an anonymous leaker on Reddit who said this about the Enforcer lore. The Enforcers are the ones who sent the cube. The Enforcers can't live in Earth's atmosphere, so they must change it. The cube creates small domes that mimic their planet's atmosphere. At Loot Lake, the cube will absorb water and send energy to the domes, making them grow. 
Season 5 will end with Loot Lake drained and domes becoming twice as large. The trailer for Season 6 will show people walking up to the cube and getting struck and bounded away. Drift walks up to the cube and when the lightning strikes him, he doesn't get knocked back because he's human. The cube keeps striking him and the bolts get bigger. Drift becomes charged and the cube explodes. How cool does that sound? I'd, I'd go with that. I'm cool with that. Yep, go with the Epic Games. What do you think? This leaker went on to say some absolutely ridiculous things, but the more I look into them, the more they make sense. Stating, the Wailing Woods bunker will finally open. The person inside decides to follow his dream, building a chicken restaurant. <laughs> One of the Battle Pass skins is a restaurant mascot. The restaurant expands into an amusement park throughout the season, completely replacing Wailing Woods. Right, I know that's completely far-fetched, but let's look at the evidence. Back in Season 4, the three items that vanished from the world were all restaurant-related. First the Der Burger, which came back with the Rift character, then the Tomato Head, which has just returned from a visit to the Mayans by the looks of things, and the one we all forget is Noms, which reappeared in the northeast corner of the map, not too far from that bunker. What if these three restaurant chains are gearing up for World War 3, the biggest food fight in history? One from the future, one from present day, and one from the past. It's a bit of a stretch, but I think it's plausible. Or do you think I'm off my rocker? Let me know your thoughts. Let's break that down a little bit. Let's take the tomato head part of that theory. By now, you'll only just be able to remember Tomato Town. T tomato Town. However you choose to say it, it's, it's cool with me. The location was pretty terrible, with only a few chests and terrible sight lines. This was improved dramatically with the addition of Tomato Temple. And the Battle Pass image of Pizza Pete has one Reddit user, Ferb73Craft, excited and able to build law around this occurrence. Here's what he said about a time-travelling cult. I'm sure you all know Uncle Pete, aka the Tomato, has returned to his home in Tomato Town. However, not in his former glory, his massive metallic structure reduced to a measly carved rock. Many have joked that he was burned due to the rock's charcoal colour, but I think I have a better idea. The Pete that returned is not the Uncle Pete that left. It's a replica, an idol, carved by humans in the past. As we've seen in the update, various items from our reality have appeared, such as Drift and the ATKs from the modern era. However, we've also received a Viking boat, Easter Island heads, and a variety of other time periods. My theory is that, whilst the cracks brought things from different time periods, it also sent things to different time periods. In the case of Uncle Pete, he might have been sent back to the Stone Age, causing people at the time to believe he was a god. In fear of admiration, said in context, they made idols of him, and one of them was sent back to the original Pete's location. Only a week later, Tomato Temple appeared, which really does justify that story. So well played, Ferb. Impressive work. Ferb's theory also links into character upgrades with skins evolving. I won't lie, I do not like the skin, so I didn't buy it, so I've been unable to try the skin upgrade challenges. But if I can upgrade my Bright Bomber into a Dark Destroyer, I'd be all over that. Let's go back to leaks rather than theories. A leaker named Internet Adam, great name by the way, predicted the destruction of Moisty Meyer and Dusty Depot. Sadly, he was sued for leaking information by Epic Games because he was in fact a games tester hired to find bugs. Well, one of his friends named Internet Explorer announced he was the real leaker and told us information about season five. Some were spot on and some seemed a little off, but what if everything he said was true? Just not confined to season five. Let's break it down. He said there will be dinosaurs. They did appear, didn't they? But not in the way we hoped. Other things he said that didn't come true yet include the motel becoming a Wild West saloon with animals nearby and a train too. Holy sh**, balls, Batman, how cool does that sound? He's another leaker that also said a theme park was coming to Fortnite, leading back into what we've already said earlier. In addition, he leaked the information of an Egyptian structure above Loot Lake, such as a pyramid, which many of us thought we already saw in Loot Lake, and even a Sphinx. Who needs history class? Let's play Fortnite instead. Other things he said include a pirate point area with Jack Sparrow style characters in the battle pass and this sexy skin for tier 100 and even a castle area replacing Lucky Landing. Again, these did not happen yet. The thing I really want to look at here is that his constant references to animals stating animals will be added into the battle royale universe. This now looks increasingly likely thanks to another leaker who looked into the game's files and found a folder named pets. Oh my goodness, that sounds epic. Epic. <laughs> Imagine running around with a palico from Monster Hunter. I personally want a hamster in a ball. Come on, Epic, if you're listening, make it so. 
To finish, let's look at Save the World and the promise that it would appear for free to Battle Royale players. Save the World will indeed become free to play, but the issue of giving away free V-Bucks to users will probably see the free version released without the V-Buck challenges. To make a big deal of going free to play, Epic have hinted at Save the World skins coming to Battle Royale. So if you've unlocked some thick skins, keep hold of them, they may be worth more than you know. And those with the Founders Packs and higher, imagine bringing your $100 Bruce Lee Kill Bill skin into Battle Royale. That would be pretty awesome. And if there's any excuse to bring my llama-headed ninja into Battle Royale, I'll do it. All right, people, let's search this dump and get out of here ASAP. Finally, Season 6 has been delayed a little, at least an extra week, which may see it begin in October rather than mid-September as planned. Out of everything you've seen, what are you hoping is true for me? I want a castle, I want a pet hamster, and maybe a cowboy costume to wear on the, the weekends, you know. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade, I'd love to know your thoughts below. It's been a pleasure, it feels good to be back on Fortnite. I'll see you next time.